Yo, 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 what's up everyone? Titanium Taco here today. Going to make extra creamy biscuits. Um, there is no official recipe for this, but I will do my best in doing so. Um, wanted to thank you all really quick for 5K subscribers. This is the 5K special, so we're gonna celebrate by making these creamy biscuits now. There is no exact, like I said, there is no exact recipe but we will try to attempt, or I will do my best to do so. So we're gonna start off by making regular cream biscuits. I will link, uh, I will leave a link to the description down below, description. I'll leave the recipes in the description down below is what I'm essentially saying. But um, I'll leave multiple uh, recipes, you guys can make your own, but for now, uh, I'm just gonna go through the process or my process of making it. You guys don't have to follow exactly and maybe you won't be able to follow exactly but with that said let's just great it get straight into it uh, like i said cream biscuits first is what we're going to start off with so the recipe i'm looking at right here it says two cups of self-rising flour now i don't have self-rising flour i just have regular flour so in order to do it like self-rising we're going to have to add i'm assuming baking soda and baking powder I'm gonna double check that before I actually put it in, just to make sure. So just really quick, two cups. This is this is a cup, right? Two, two, two cups, two cups. So once you've added the two cups of flour, since I don't have self-rising flour, I did search up what you need to make self-rising flour. So we're just gonna take some baking powder, and it asks for one and a half of uh, teaspoons, <clears throat> teaspoons. So there's our one and a half, there we go. Um, and then salt, salt, uh, one fourth salt. And then you whisk, you whisk it together and you get the self rising flour. Now that you've whisked the ingredients together a bit to make that self rising flour, we're gonna add one teaspoon of sugar right here. Some good old sugar. And you're also going to want heavy cream or whipping cream. It's essentially the same thing, but we're going to do one and a half uh, cups. One and a half cups. So there's one and then a half. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, baby. And then essentially from here, all you got to do is stir the ingredients together. <clears throat> At the end of the day, I ended up just putting it in here because it's just way easier to do it in here than doing it by hand. So if you have one of these, much, much better and much easier to do. So it'll definitely speed up the process for everyone. <clears throat> so after a few minutes of failing what I was, um, you know, failing at reading the instructions, I realized that it asked to stir and not like mix it up. So essentially I was being left with basically crumbs or like it wasn't mixing into a ball essentially. So I was, I was still able to salvage it. I uh, just added some more heavy cream. In fact, I'm going to add just a little bit more just so it could stick a little bit more. I mean, it is more than what it asked for, but I mean, at this point it's kind of needed. But um, th this is why uh, I wouldn't follow this video as instructions to make this. <laughs> this is just me trying to do an attempt at making something. I, I don't even know at this point. This is this is supposed to be the 5K special, guys. Okay, just just bear with me. So it did take a little bit more heavy cream than needed, but uh, I think we got it into how we needed it. So we're gonna add this board with a bit of flour because it is asked for us to add. Just additional flour to this board real quick. And next up, we fold the dough into two. Um, I don't know. I don't know how that's. So it says turn the dough into a ball. Or, yeah, until it's a ball, turn the dough out onto a surface. All right, so we just got to flan it out, I guess. Just like this. Something like this, I guess. 
and it says fold it into two. Boom, we folded it into two. Oh, in half. Fold the dough in half and knead it five to seven times, adding just enough flour to keep it from sticking to your hands. Okay, I mean, I have added enough flour so it doesn't stick to my hands. So as you can see, it's not sticking to my hands. So that's good. And then gently roll out the dough Oh, to a half inch, half inch thickness, and then we use some cutters. So really quick, I'm just gonna get out the roller thingy majiggy, so we could start getting this dough into biscuit size. So this is essentially what we're gonna use. As you can see, that's this isn't what we want. I probably should have just made it on the on the thing, but whatever. It's now we just it's a matter of. So I ended up deciding to just do it on my counter because. It, it, the thing moves, so what you wanna do is grab this and just roll it out, like that, like so. And it did ask for half an inch thickness, so I just wanna roll it out to a nice circle, I guess. Just give it that nice, good stretch. You know, make enough biscuits for the family, you know? Just make enough biscuits for everyone. So, essentially, I'm realizing now that I don't know where our cutters are, and instead of spending half an hour trying to look or find some cutters. I have my good old trusty container here and we're just gonna use this to cut out essentially holes. Now, I am realizing that this is not half an inch, Bro. so uh, uh, just give me a sec, guys. All right, I am back and I, I think I got it this time now. So essentially half an inch thick, I probably like completely messed it up see if this works. All right, so I think that worked out pretty well. I'm not gonna lie, I think I think that's half an inch, right? Looks like half an inch, I don't know. So we're just gonna get as many of those out of this dough as we can really quick. So I now have my biscuits here and now it is just essentially time to put it in the oven. It asked for it to be on 500 degrees Fahrenheit, but the highest my oven goes is up to 480, so we're just gonna leave it at 450. So without further ado, let's just pop these in the oven. I only had enough for four and one mini one, and um, we're gonna use wax paper. So without further ado, let's just pop these in the oven. So essentially, those should be ready in about 10, 10 minutes, around that time. So we're gonna get on to the next step, and that is making another set of biscuits, but this time, chocolate biscuits. So for this, you're gonna need butter, the good old butter at room temperature, sugar, again with the self-raising flour, but again, we don't have that, and the cocoa powder. So let's go on to the next, the first step for this kind of biscuit. So for this, it essentially asks for half a cup of butter, so in this case, it is essentially just half of this stick right here, if it wants to come off. We just plop plop it in there and just grab as much butter as we can just to make it to make sure it is that half cup and then it is going to be a fourth of a cup of sugar so we're just gonna put the sh some sugar in this like that like so and just plop it in there the next step essentially for this part is now to beat up the butter and the sugar together I guess just to mix up the butter and the sugar you know just give it a nice little beating up you know like just just give it a nice speed up with a wooden spoon it recommends a wooden spoon so that's what I'm using here and it, it seems to be doing the job just fine here let me show you guys really quick like if you look at this it's doing a pretty good job pretty pretty good job once you have beaten up the sugar you add that one cup of flour in this case so we're also gonna add a fourth of um you know salt and then one and a half of baking powder. So let's just do that much. That's good, right? And then I'm not gonna make the same mistake twice, but for this, you're gonna wanna mix the ingredients just like so, not with the little electric thingy. Now before I forget too, we're also gonna add cocoa powder to this and it asks for one eighth of a cup. That is quite specific. One eighth. 
one eighth. So I guess half of essentially, I guess this much is good. I don't know how much one eighth is, but we're just gonna eyeball it. That should be good enough. And then you just mix up the ingredients like so. Now, once you think you've done a good enough job at mixing it with a spoon, you can start mixing it by hand. Just like so, make it into that nice ball it's, it's supposed to be. So, in the time it took us to make this nice little ball, it gave us time to bake these delicious biscuits. So, we're just gonna move these biscuits out of the way, make smaller biscuits out of the chocolate one, put these bad boys in the oven, and then move on to the next step. So, without further ado, let's get these into balls. So, now that we have them in their nice little balls, we're gonna pop these in the oven. Now, once again, the same thing you did with the biscuits, the last biggest biscuits, the chocolate biscuits, those could also be left for like 10 minutes. Now, while those are making, we're gonna make the last part of this thing, and that is the cream stuff of the actual biscuits. Now, I have this um, sugar-free vanilla instant pudding and pie filling mix. So, we're just gonna mix this together. I'll leave some um, recipes to some you know, fillings in the description down below. But I have this instant one, so we're just gonna add milk to it, uh, mix it up, let it sit, and then at the end of the video, we're gonna put it all together and see how it tastes like. So without further ado, let's get mixing. So everything is done. I have completed the filling and the two types of biscuits. Now, guys, I am no professional um, baker. I have a, a small, dream of becoming a baker but i'm not, i'm no professional so this didn't really turn out how i thought it was going to um i don't know what i was expecting i was expecting something better but we're gonna build the biscuit now give a taste test and um end the video but yeah i think i, I think i did a pretty mad job at doing this but i tried i'm assuming you guys could do a better job but Let's just build that biscuit really quick. So for starters, you just wanna start off with your chocolate biscuits. Now, as you can see, my biscuit is kind of crumbling and not really surviving, but just add a little bit of, um, add just a little bit of that cream filling. Next up, you wanna grab your bigger biscuit and cut it in half. Now, if you are not of age to use knives, I don't recommend doing this yourself. Get a parent or guardian to do it for you. Now, as you can see, um, you don't want the biscuit looking like this because that tells me that it is a bit under under baked. So it didn't bake all the way, but we're kind of just gonna YOLO it right now. You fill the center with some more of that nice, nice filling. You top it off with that nice, nice biscuit. Mmm, look at that. Mmm, art. Oh, that filling's actually pretty good. And then you top it off with another chocolate biscuit. Uh, it's all falling apart, just like my love life. And voila, I will show you guys a picture for comparison. It looks nothing like it, but I tried. Now let's just give it a quick taste, uh, take, taste test. Yeah. Well, here's the biscuit. Once again, I failed at making the creamy biscuits that Jay so eagerly wanted extras of. Um, as you can see, it's crumbling right in front of me. My dog is waiting to get some, but he's not getting any. So without further ado, let's just give it a taste. So taste-wise, it's all right. It's actually pretty good. Um, I quite like it. Again, I failed at making an accurate representation of it. But I think I still did a pretty decent job, and it's actually pretty good. But with that said, guys, this video is probably a, a, a big mess, especially for a 5K special. Um, sorry I couldn't come out with anything better. Um, Master Chen, I'm sorry that I did not live up to your legacy of these extra creamy biscuits. But with that said, hope you enjoyed. Leave a, leave, leave a comment down below. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter. Show me if you guys can make better biscuits than me. And with that said, thank you guys once again.
for 5k subs. So until next time guys, I'm just gonna continue eating this biscuit.